For the first time, WeatherTex products are collected all together in a single digital catalogue. The 2021 edition contains both the weatherboard planks and architectural panels. This year, WeatherTex is making available Revit models, which include accessories and the construction details that can be loaded straight into your Revit project. Everything you could need for your project is one click away. You will find the right products for your clients, the best 3D families and photorealistic textures. So let us walk you through how to get started. Most likely you have made it to this point by downloading the WeatherTex Revit package. In this pack you will find the Revit file and all accompanying materials and bumps, including the AdSglib file. So how is this virtual catalogue used? On this landing page, you can see the complete product range, all of the WeatherTex products conveniently located in one place, even the latest products, including classic shingles plus smooth. You will also notice inspiration images to see how the product can be used, as well as product images. Next to that, we have the wall, which includes all the specification information required. And then a basic description of it here, so you can quickly see what the product looks like how it can be used and what benefits it has for your project. How can you use the textures, materials and bump maps? When you download the package, we encourage you to save the file onto the C drive. Under Users, Username, Documents and a file such as Revit Materials. When you come back into Revit, simply click File, Options, Rendering and hit the plus to add a new Render Appearance path which you can see has already been added in in this case. From now on, when you open up this Revit file, it will look for those particular render files in that location. In addition, we have created an AdSglib file. So when you open up the Materials Editor, on the bottom left, you can open an existing library and simply navigate to the same folder on your C drive, click on the AdSglib file and load it in. When you find a material that suits your project, simply hit the up button to load it in. If you work on a server, simply use a path like this in a common folder. So how can we quickly decide which product is best for your project? In a 3D view, you can quickly look to see how the products display in different modes. When using Realistic, the actual image of the product is applied to the wall. If you have a Revit add-in, such as Enscape, you can open this to see how the product responds to light and shade. Let's take a look at the accessories now and see how we can utilise these in our project. Here we have modelled a basic four-walled structure and loaded in a number of the accessories including corners and joiners. As you can see, this adds a significant amount of detail to your drawings. Now we will demonstrate how to utilise the construction details. We are going to start a new file to show how we can best utilise these. Simply click Insert, Insert from File and navigate back to the place that we saved the original Revit file. This allows for you to choose from all the construction details. Simply hit the one that you would like to insert. Use the legend to identify which construction detail applies to your chosen product. Where can you find the technical information? Touch the wall that you would like to find out more about, then select Edit Type. In this list you will find all the information you require, including the name and a link to the WeatherTex website. Additionally, you can follow this link to order product samples, and find out what product best suits your project. For all product updates, the best place to go is the WeatherTex website. 